Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B-plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. My brother Levi or I would be happy to help. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2005 Road Trek 210 Popular with 90,111 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2005 Road Trek 210 Popular. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan and the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976. Today, my brother Levi and I are in charge of the main operations. Our brother-in-law Greg is in charge of the shop. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. Answer any questions, make sure you're comfortable with your new RV. I'm going to get going on this one. We've got your shower drain in the trench here. So your shower is inside of this door here. We'll open that up and check that out later. Basically, you're going to be able to stand out in the aisle, pull the shower curtain around you. You can use the fantastic fan here as an exhaust fan to exhaust the moist air. You can also use this like an attic fan at night. If you open up the windows in here, you'll be able to get a nice cool breeze from the outside air. This runs on the coach battery. We've got about 72 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach. We've got about 70 here in the rear. Got your uh, AC in the rear. That's a Cool Cat AC heat pump that runs on the shore power, or uh, excuse me, shore power or the generator only. The heat pump will work down to around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature. Below that, you'll have to use the propane furnace. The propane furnace is located over here. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a little storage pocket here, cup holder. Got windows that open with a screen. Got curtains that slide across here. Also got this privacy curtain that goes all the way around the front. A little storage rail up top. Start stop switch for the Onan generator. That's an Onan 2800. Has 189 hours, fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. Water heater on off switch that lights itself. Test switch for your liquid propane gas. Your fresh water tank, your holding tank, which would be your black, your gray, which is your sink and your shower. Got your coach battery uh, level detector here, tell you how much is in your coach battery. Water pump on off switch, coach battery disconnect. Disconnects the coach batteries from everything in here, preventing parasitic draw. That also disconnects your charging systems, which are your shore power plug-in, your generator, and your alternator while you drive. Got your fuse panel here. Got a little stash spot inside the wall here. Light switch. Got a seat belt on the seat behind the passenger seat. So three total seat belts. You can swivel this seat here and use the cushion here and it'll connect in between here to make up a third bed. This is gonna be more for smaller adults or children. Not so good for 6'3 people like myself or taller individuals. Flipping over to the bathroom. Get some stuff from the backup camera in there. Storage spot there. Got your manuals in there. Two burner propane cooktop. Got the aluminum backsplash. Got the overhead fan and light. Got that window behind the sink here that does not open. It's got a curtain for privacy. Single basin sink. Nice drawer here for your silverware. Got the smaller diamond shaped table here. Got a table mount in the front as well as in the rear. You could use those wherever you'd like. Just a little storage tub there, here as well. Down here behind the seat, got a windshield cover. Some more storage spots. That is your water pump and the back of the water heater. Those pipes are a water heater bypass. That's for winterizing. Got a big drawer below the refrigerator. 
So lots of room for extra goodies. Got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. So this is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC, meaning your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC, meaning your coach battery or propane gas. That's all controlled via the knobs and buttons on the front here. There are instructions in the bottom of the box if you forgot what to do. Got a Samsung toast and bake. This is kind of like a toaster oven style type of thing. So more of a convection microwave oven. I'm gonna flip you around now and check out the restroom area. So got the shower curtain up top, a little bit of shelving. That's where your shower head is right there. Hot and cold. That's your toilet paper there. These portions of the doors do flip out to be able to provide privacy. So again, you're gonna be able to stand here in the aisle, use your toilet, use your shower, pull the curtain around you, have the fantastic fan overhead. got a privacy flip out on this door as well here so you can block off the front or the rear of the coach spot here to hang your jackets two table legs drawer down below propane furnace here is controlled from the thermostat which is over here and also the ac and heat pump are controlled from here so just like your home thermostat This here is the screen that zips into the rear door. So you can zip that screen in. We got windows that open all the way around with screens. The side windows just have screens on the lower portions. The rear windows, you got the whole screen. Although those are just the pop out van style windows. New storage bays here. This is where the DVD player would have been the DVD player is now built into the TV itself. Got 12 volt power here and a coax coming in. This is nice because you can plug things in there and run them directly off of the coach battery. We've got a 110 plug back there. So the popular model of the road treks are designed to have two separate twin sleepers. People like this makes it easy to get out of bed at night without crawling over one another. So you can sleep just how they are. You can take these little wing bolts out of the nightstand. You've got the two drawers there on the nightstand, but you can take the wing bolts out, pop that on the floor. Then there are some boards beneath this cushion here that will span the gap. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see some measurements and see what that looks like. The twin sleepers measure approximately 74 inches long and 30 inches wide on the driver's side and just a little shorter at about 70 inches long on the passenger side. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 70 to 74 inches front to back and 80 inches side to side. This bed is technically designed for two, but you could potentially sleep three people lying either direction if so desired. In the rear below the sofa, we got some storage, noxious gas detector, some of your water connections here, storage bay. This is connecting to the storage that's also accessible through the rear entry doors. If you pop these up, you can access some of them from the top. Got the boards for the center bed. That's the winter tank that's located inside of the RV. Got some similar things. You can pop these open from the top if you'd like. Here we are sitting in the rear of the road trek. What do you call James Bond taking a bath? Bubble 07. His new summer 2022 blockbuster, Live and Let Dry. Got your TV antenna on the roof here, help you get better TV reception. You do not want to drive around with that cranked up. TV can flip out to face the front. The driver and passenger seats both swivel. However, the passenger seat will have a better position due to the steering wheel and cabinet around the driver's seat. So you can watch the TV from the front here. Got speakers in the rear that are connected to the front head unit. So whatever the driver and passenger are listening to will also play out here. Got a 110 outlet here, noxious gas detector. Counter slide out. Another 110 outlet there. Got the little blocks here. You can remove those if you'd like to get more sunlight. 
Little Atlas spot there. All in all, a really, really nice road truck inside and out. Very clean, very minimal blemishes. Looks like we had a little ding on the floor that had been patched there. There's a tiny, tiny little nick there on the fiberglass. Very, very minimal blemishes though. Trying to find some ways to fault this one. Not a whole lot. I'm sure there's a bump or a bruise or a little scratch that I missed. But all in all, this is a very, very clean RV ready to hit the road. I'm gonna call this one a nine to a nine and a half out of 10, depending on how you wanna grade it. But for a 2005, probably more of a nine and a half. Overall, maybe a nine, comparing it to a 2016 or something like that. But all in all, a really, really great looking coach, ready to hit the road. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD, and cassette player. Got the backup camera monitor right there. Nice clean leather upholstery. A little glove box. Not seeing any signs of smoking, no burns, stains, funny smells. The cigarette lighter is unused, so I'm going to call this one a non-smoker. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2005 Road Trek 210 Popular. This RV measures 21 and a half feet bumper to bumper, has an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 50, 19 date codes. This Road Trek is built on a Chevy 3500 Express van chassis. It has a six liter Vortec V8 engine with 90,111 miles. A real good looking exterior on this one, lots of shine. Stripes are in nice condition too. Got your toilet vent up top, porch light. Two coach batteries. Got your furnace exhaust. Be careful not to sit things in front of that if that's on. Storage drawer. We do have actual alloy rims on this unit. Backup camera up top, air conditioner comes out the back here. Got a tow package. That's your propane tank. You got a gauge here, valve to turn that on and off. You got a little basement storage spot here. That's covered by this, this door here. This little door covers the propane tank. Can't access this storage spot from the inside through this door. Got your spare tire. We've got the fill for the winter tank, which is located inside of the RV. This is a smaller tank. That's how you fill the winter tank. Take a closer look at the stripes on this unit. Really good looking unit. Got your shore power plug in here. Outside showers is nice for washing your shoes off at the beach. Kids, pets, things like that. Got your city water coming in here. You can open this valve and it will fill the onboard fresh water tank from the city water. You can take this little porthole out here, run the power cord and the hose out through there. Got a cable TV hookup. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator stops running around a quarter tank. Nice storage bay here. Back of the water heater, back of the refrigerator. This is the exhaust over the stove. Got a macerator pump on this one. Got your fresh water drain down here. This is your black tank valve and your gray tank. So you pull your black first, that's the toilet, and you'll push this button to pump the waste out of the macerator pump hose. And you'll pull the gray gate, do the same thing. We've got the fill for the main fresh water tank. All in all, a really, really good looking road trek here. Shines up very well.